defined from z cross z on to z and let it be defined by f of mn is equal to m minus n if m happens to be larger than n. Okay, this is actually a partial function because it's not defined on the entire domain. So, you might be familiar with the idea of a codomain, which is the range space, but we talk about the image, or the actual range, as being only the things that you actually hit. Well, with a partial function, it's the same concept, but over on the left-hand side with the domain. So we have a domain space on the left, but that domain space might not be entirely hit. So let's see if we can answer these questions. So, first, what is the domain? Well, the domain is the set of values that could potentially be inputs into the function. So that's the left part of the partial function as it's defined, and that's going to be z cross z. So in other words, it's what's told to you in the problem. The codomain is the part on the right. It's what we're being sent to. So the codomain is just going to be z. So the domain is z cross z, and the codomain is just z. Now, the domain of definition. The domain of definition is going to be a subset of your domain. So it's going to be the set of mn coming from z cross z, because it's going to be a subset of z cross z, that's our domain, but it's only going to be the values that satisfy the condition, the m is bigger than n, so such that m is bigger than n. Right? That's not all values, that's only the ones for which m is larger than n. So notice the domain of definition is not defined on all possible values, it's a restricted domain. But if that's the restricted domain, then what are the undefined values? Or I should more appropriately say here, what are the values of the domain where the function is undefined? Well, that would be the set of mn's in the domain where you are now not defined. So that's going to be the places where m happens to be less than or equal to n. So as our final answers, the domain of this partial function is the space that's written on the left. The codomain is the space that's written on the right. The domain of definition are the values for which we are actually defined, and that's restricted by the m bigger than n. So the places where the function is undefined would be the rest of the values, would be the places where we don't satisfy the m being bigger than n, and rather we are m less than or equal to n.